Right. here we are Tuesday so as I've been learning this game and very fascinated in it and also uh, we'll get to a few things in, the, in a minute but I, I want to tell you what we want to do today after I have a little bit of an opening uh, statement Zeblik what's up brah um <clears throat> What we're doing is, is we're building a story around some of these um, House of Chance games. And basically what it is, is the rogue, while well, everybody was sleeping, decided to go in town with everybody's money. She's got 1500 bucks. Now she could be a hero and maybe make a little bit more money. Or she could lose everybody's money and kind of skip off from the group. So we have a little story here that goes with these side games. And that's the beauty of this game. You know, I, I did a video yesterday, which we'll talk about in a second. And, um, you know, when you could take some of these side games and make a study, uh, you know, make a whole thing into itself, it becomes... Oh, what's going on? UPS guy. We've got more deliveries today. Huh, what can I tell you? So, not just me, but my daughter, too. So, um, you know, you, t you take things, you make your own story, you add your own things to this, and you make this your own experience. That's kind of all you could ever want from a game, where you can take something and, you know, I don't have to lay out the whole board game to have some fun with it. Okay? There are certain sections in this that... I get what's going on here and the imagination that goes behind that. Now, I did a video yesterday, and I'm just going to sum it up because there's a little Facebook group out there, and they think I don't know, and I got the screenshots uh, that, that were sent to me. And uh, they think they're cute. You know, a second rate, oh, excuse me, a little fourth rate channel think there's something special. Okay, you're not. You got a bad name in this business already. You got an even worse one after what you, what's been going on. Okay. And you've made a lot of enemies. Good luck with that. But my real problem is, is it's not so much that people disagree. You know, when I say this game, I say this type of game. Not these two games, Dungeon Universalis and Dungeon Crusade, is the future. I believe open world games are going to be more, you're going to see more of uh, with dungeon crawls. And that's the, the message I was trying to get across. If you disagree with that or agree with that, I don't have a problem with it. And if you, if you conduct yourself properly on my channel, you know, I never mind people disagreeing. Okay. It's when you get snarky and you think you're, you're something special behind a keyboard, then I got a problem. Okay. And then believe me, I'll find out who you are. If you haven't been here long, you have no idea what I do. Okay. Don't try to find out. It don't matter. So anyways, um, the thing I did have a problem with in this uh, cutesy little, you, you know, these people that lurk behind the screen. I don't know why, why you would want to disturb a nice little quiet uh, channel like this. Okay. I don't know why we don't bother anybody. We're not part of anything. Okay. If we're a little channel, imagine what that other channel is. They're not even existing. As a matter of fact, I had a distributor say that today. So get ready for that. My thing is, my thing that kind of bothers me is when people try to say, well, he shows this enthusiasm because he's getting paid to do something. First of all, that's slander. You'll enjoy my federal uh, lawyers that I have. 
and I, I can lawyer up big time, okay? And I don't appreciate that, number one, because it's a lie. So make sure you get your story straight. If you're going to say something, make sure you have the facts to back it up. I come on here to play a game. Plain and simple. Play a game. And when I play a game, I have a good time. Or else, why am I doing this? Because don't make any money from it. Don't care either. Do I get free games that people want me to take a look at? Oh, absolutely. Does Miniature Market, uh, you know, send me a couple of games here or there for doing some things for them? But they want me to be honest. And I am honest. If I really get excited, and I get excited over every game, and you may not like those games, that's okay. That's, that's, that's cool. I'm great with that. Okay? But you know something? I don't have Facebook. So you think you're hiding, and you think you can run, run your little mouth. And, and believe me, here's the thing. There's going to be conventions, and I always like to give a receipt to those that want to pay cash with their mouths. Okay? Just remember that. So usually some of you come looking for me. Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll find me if you want to. So, I'll be honest with you. I don't get paid. My enthusiasm is real. This is a safe haven for people. Don't come here. Don't, 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 just don't waste your time. Go someplace else. Go bother somebody else. I'm just a little channel that doesn't mean, mean anything to anyone. Okay. It's just a little itty bitty channel that I just want to have fun with the Mo's of the world, the Zeblicks of the world that have been in my life for, for a while. The Davids, the old donks, the Gramtastics. Okay. And there were a couple of people that said things that weren't true. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. That's life being a YouTuber at some point. And it's not all it's cracked up to be. Okay. So I wanted to get that out off my chest. Because when this was presented to me last evening, it didn't bother me. But I don't think it bothered me until I just went, just about was going to go on. And I think... You know, I've always tried to get you guys deals, show you games that I'm excited about. That's all it is. I'm not trying to sell anything for anybody. Okay? Miniature Market and I have a great relationship. I like to present those things to you each and every week. Okay? If I'm playing a game and I really like it, I like Dungeon Crusade so far. I'm going to give it some time. Okay? I want to make sure I play it enough. Same thing I did with Dungeon Universalis. I jumped to the conclusions early, but as I started to understand it a little bit more, which I have a hard time wrapping things around my head, guess what? I started to get it, and I, and I had to backtrack because I was wrong. I don't have a problem admitting when I'm wrong. So you want to know something? Stick to your cute little channel, okay? Because you made a ton of enemies. I wish you luck because it's an uphill climb. It always is. It always is. But karma is really bad. And I, I trust you. I'm not like every other schlep out there. You're dealing with a different type of animal. Okay? I bite back. And I've never lost anything in my life. Don't plan on doing it now. All right. Enough of that. So, we're going to get to this story, and I really am excited about this, because we're going to have a lot of fun. I came up with this, and I changed some things. So, Roger, forgive me, <laughs> okay? I changed some of these things, and I want to show you how you, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to put on my glasses. I'm going to read some of these comics. Uh, comments. Oh, Moe's here. Well, there you go. One of the guys I play to. Bill, what's up? Why is this thing hidden? Okay, let's show. Uh... Why is it that I feel like I've known Rob my whole life? Well, because that's all this channel is. It's just to play games and, and have fun. Okay, people come, people go. It's all right. Nobody says you have to like this channel. It's a little rinky-dink channel that, that, doesn't mean, that doesn't mean anything in the scheme of things. And I like it that way. 
Do I need to grab the torches and the pitchforks? No, I can handle stuff myself. People should worry about themselves instead of being critical about others. They should. They should. Uh, oh, no. Something happened? No. Well, no. No. I just don't have Facebook and people present things to me. I do have a loyal following, and I'm very thankful for that. I actually have a following. <laughs> Uh, the funniest skits I've seen is one hit die vids, but there are many other good ones as well. That's cool. Uh, I got a bag of li lime. Yeah, that's all. That's all we need. No, we don't even need that. Um, 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 um did someone die paint for stone golem? Uh, no, uh, Rob, but because Rob is our grumpy uncle who plays games with us. That's right, Keith. I'm a grumpy uncle. All right. So we're already 12 minutes in. Why don't we start playing this game? Okay. All right. So I wanted to make sure that we got that off our chest and, and, and for you guys. So here's the thing. Here's the idea I came up, up with. Okay. And this is... And, and when I've talked about this being a sandbox... This thing is a sandbox because there's so many different things to it and you could do so many different things. So let's have some fun with this. Not only are you going to see all the, the games of chance and some tweaks I've made, but you're also going to, you, you know, uh, we're, we're going to tell a little story here. We're going to tell a story. All right. So the first thing is, is our rogue. Okay. While everybody was sleeping, well, she's drunk. All right. She went down to the seat. I can't even hold her. She, she can't even stand up straight. So here we go. She decided to take everybody's money that they worked so hard for. They went through Avalon and they had $1,500. And like the typical rogue that she is, she snuck out and said, ah, you know something? I think I can make us more, more gold. I think I can do this. Well, she's going to take a chance because she's going to go through three harrowing games and hopefully make enough money to go back or lose it all. Because if she loses it all, guess what? That party's going to be less one rogue. All right. Well, how is she going to do? Well, there's only one way to find out. <sighs> Let's gamble it all. Let's gamble it all. <laughs> so the first thing that she's going to do is the tower attack. Now, you may have seen this in our first thing. We're going to do this one first. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because you've already seen it before, but it's a good way to get some money. She is going to take 200 of the party's money that nobody knows about. And she's going to try to make things happen. Can she make more money? Will she get greedy? Will she lose it all? Well, there's only one thing to do, and that's to let the dice determine on how this is all going to shake out. So we're going to get three rolls here. She's got to try to make a four, a three, and a four. If she does, whoops, we're only betting 100. She's starting out light, but she'll win 200. Let it ride. That's what I say. Let it ride. Let's see what happens. Can she do this? She's got a long road ahead of her. Uh, okay. Okay. She got an 11 right off. Okay. So that's one. Uh, a three is not enough there. And a four. Oh, no. She's got two more rolls to make this. Can she do it? Can she get through the very first level? What, all right. What's going on with Mo? Grumpy Uncle Rob. Get to the damn game already. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, old timer. You probably forget half the games I played by the time you get off. All right, here we go. Oh, she did it all. She moves on. She got an 8 and an 11. All right. That's going to move that up there. We're going to add 200. But she has to bet 200. Okay? So she, she won $200. So right now, She's got to bet 200, but she did make $100 out of that. 
So that's going to go in there. So she's down a hundred bucks, but she's saying, I'm going to let it ride. We need 400 bucks. We can do this. We can do this. All right. Level two. As she goes up the tower. All right. Now, here's the thing. This is a push your luck game. All right. But here's the thing. You've got to know when to stop. Because if you don't, you're going to lose it all. You're going to lose it all, I believe. And I think that's the way to play this. Okay. Hero begins the game with 100 bucks. Okay. Keep moving up. Notice the three colors. Blah, 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 blah. Um, they get three attempts to go to the next level. If the player decides to leave the game, place a red marker token on the last level, they succeeded in beating. If the player wishes to continue and advance to the next tower level, they must bet the amount shown for the next level. If a player fails to meet exceed the values for that level, they lose their bet and are locked on that level. All right, so you're going to lose your bet. You don't want to lose your bet, okay? So, all right, here we go. We need a five, a four, and a five. Can we do this? There are no 1040s. Uh, 12. That, well, she, they made one so far. Uh-oh, two more rolls. This could be a bad start right here. Uh, an eight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They can lose that 200 bucks. Uh, four. Oh, no. Disaster has screwed. Disaster has screwed them, and she has lost that money. Well, she's feeling a little froggy and says, no. That's not the way this is going to end. All right. She's down to $1,400 overall. She loses all the money. That's it. She's going to try it again. She's going to try one more time to go up the ladder of success. Let's see what happens here. This is dangerous here. Here we go. 12, 8, and 7. Yes, that's enough to move on. So what does she win? She wins 200 bucks. And here's the bank. She's going to get 200. She's going to keep 100, which is going to bring her to 40. She's still down $100 overall. She she needs this roll now. All right, let's see what happens. Can she do it? Can she do it? Oh, the rogue's starting to worry because not only does she have a knight in her party, but she has a barbarian in her party. This can't end well. 11, 9, and 2. All right. First of all, that's going to qualify right there. But she's got to get that 5. Get the 5. Oh, no, it's a 4. It's going to come down to this. She's going to lose again? Oh, yes, she does. She loses. She's down to 1400 bucks. I think... Oh, boy. She just feels that she has to go on. Somehow, some way. And I think she's going to try one last time. We're going to get three attempts at this. Three attempts. Boy, she keeps losing. She's going to go for a bottle of... Jeez, uh, what, what, what is... Uh, what, what, what is Mo drink? Okay. Bottle of Jack with a splash of seven seven. Maybe that you know. Maybe that's what he's going to go for. I don't know. We're going to find out because I think she's full of that right now. Here we go. There she goes. That's enough with the four. That's an eight and a nine. Yeah, she's going to move on. She's going to win two hundred bucks. So instead of being she's at thirteen hundred now, she's at fourteen hundred. But she's got two hundred. She's down. Well, actually, she's up a hundred bucks. Oops, that's a thousand. Oops, let's not grab too much of the big money. She's got to do it this time because this time she's only the, the guy is saying, "Listen, you only get three shots at this. You only get three shots at this." She's like, "Oh, come on." She's going, "I got to do this this time." And uh, right then and there, um, she. I don't think she got anything there. That's that's a bad roll. She's got to roll all. Oh boy, wow, that's a problem there. Here we go. 
There we go, folks. Come on now. Come on, girl. Uh, no, oh, that's everything. She did it. That's a 10, an 8, and a 5 when you needed a 4. Nice. So what does she win? She wins 400 large. She wins 4 large. Okay. So there's the 400. So now she's going to take 100 of that, add it to the 200 that she started with, because she could win 600 here. Right now she's up. She's up $200. If she was smart, she'd go back to the party and say, hey, did a little gambling. I'm sorry, guys. But trust me, I made some money. She can get out of this. Remember, at a casino, at some point, whether you're up a quarter or a hundred or a thousand bucks, you are up money at some point at the casino. This is that moment. But it can be lost very quickly. Let's see how she does here. As numbers need to grow. Here we go. Oh, okay. Hold on here. That's a 10. Remember, we failed on the orange quite a bit. That is a 6. That's all you needed was a 6 there, but a 2 is not going to do it. We need a 5. We've got two more chances to get that 5. Come on. Uh, 7. That's going to do it. That's going to do it. That's how we go here. Okay. So now... She's won $600, okay? So that 500 is going to go here. That's going to get her a little farther, but she's feeling greedy. She's saying, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. It's 400 to win 800, but the numbers are a little bit tougher here. Numbers, clearly the dice got switched, fixed dice. Or was it Rob's magical hand? I'll be honest with you, Abyss. I don't think it was neither. By the way, David K., how are you, Abyss? Mo, the mighty Gimp. Make sure you check out those two channels, Mo's Game Table. And, of course, the Gimpy Gamer. All right? One of our heroes. Make sure you go over there and subscribe. All right? Help the brothers out. Cypher, what's up? How you doing? Gary Morris, how are you? Good to see you. Bill Holmes. I want to make sure I say hi to people. That's what we do here. All right, here we go. All right, let's see where we can do it. She's feeling, boy, she's loaded. She is on the sauce. Here we go. Remember, we were yodeling the other day. Just like the Price is Right. Is that enough? All right, let's see what we got here. We got a six, which is what we needed. All right, a six. And then another six. That's not going to be enough, and that's not going to be enough. Oh, boy. Come on. Only two more shots at this. Oh, that 10's enough. That 10's enough. But that 7 is just short of what we need. Come on. Can we do this? Yes! Yes! An 11. Oh, Nelly. And I do mean the singer. We got it. All right, so that is 800 okay nice is she going to push her luck i don't know this is uh this is a thinker here so we've got 400 here she's going to bet 500 and then she's going to keep this she's doing pretty good but we've got a couple more games of chance to go and things can get a little tricky Along the way. Along the way. How's this going to How's this going to end? I don't know. She's thinking level five, go home. Go home. Go home. But no. Roll of the dice. All right. A nine, which she needed. An eight, which she needed. This is, I'm going to say it's a one, even though it's cocked a little. All right. That's all right. She needs an eight. An eight or better on two rolls. Come on. You can do this. And oh, one. One. She should have stopped. I got a feeling. She should have stopped. Uh, oh. And that money goes back to the house. Oof. But she did make some money here. And she's going to walk out of here. She's going to walk out of here okay. All right. 
Woo! All right. So the next game is a little difficult because, well, I'll be honest with you. It is called The Adventures of Bravely the Knight. Now, we're going to use this as Bravely, okay? Now, what happens is normally you would spin this, but we're not going to use that, okay? It's it's a, a D4, basically. So we're going to use that. Even though there's more ones, I just think, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of spinners, okay? Huh? Yeah. So I think we're better off just rolling the D4, okay? All right. So it's going to cost us $500, 500 large to come in here, all right? But we have the chance of winning $2,500. So how does this happen, you ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. First of all, uh, 500. You've got to be able to survive this. Okay. And that's the whole thing. Our, our little knight needs to survive this. If he does not, well, let me tell you, things are not going to end up well, especially for our poor, our poor girl here. Okay. Because then you lose the 500 bucks and then you got to try to do it again. You're, we're only allowed three attempts. So with each number that we move, we are going to move into an area we can win gold we can end up going in a portal that'll move us backwards we're going to get into fights and every time we fight something we're going to win some gold there too we can land on spaces that we can win gold we're going to try to work our way all the way without dying through this little battle here okay battles are done with d6 red for the bad guy blue for the good guys right right okay here we go so, he's got 10 hit points. At any point that he dies going through here, game ends. We lose whatever money we have. We get to keep whatever we gain throughout here. But we will lose money. And you can lose. We cannot. We cannot. He's got 10 health. That's it. We can heal along the way. But 10 health. That's it. And the heart's here. Okay, that's how many times we, battles we have to win. So he's got two health. Well, we got to win on our dice twice. All right. She has a little talk with uh, with our with, with our friend here. She said, "Bravely Knight, do you think you can do this? Because I'm going to put five hundred dollars on you. Because honestly, you're kind of a handsome dude. You're kind of gangly, and I think you could do this as long as I don't have to get my hands dirty." So I'm going to lay $500 of my party's money on this in the hopes that I can win win back some of that money. I'm going to trade those fives for 1000 So right now, we're at 2000 All right, 2000 bucks. We get three attempts at this. All right? Now, once we go around, if we decide to go around again, we don't have to pay the money. Okay? But, like I said, we don't know how much of that 2500 we can get our hands on. Let's let's hope we can get on it. So right now, we are sitting at uh, 2200 bucks, which is a pretty good night. If she's decided to end it and go home, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. All right, here we go. So instead of using the spinner, which isn't bad. I mean, you could use the spinner. I'm going to use a D4, okay? And like you said, Roger always says, you can housework. I got to get back to work. What? Changing diapers again. Jeez. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Let's bring this home. And he's going to move two. So he's going to go one, two. We're going to get 300 gold. Nice. All right. So we're halfway there to getting our stuff back. We missed our first battle. Here we go. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Uh, three. So we're going to go one, two, three. Okay, here's the problem. One, two, three. Spin and move back. So now I'm going to roll. Hopefully we don't go backwards into anything that we can do. Two. Oh, no. One, two. So now we got a battle. All we're going to get is 100 large out of this. But we've got to defeat this creature three times. This will always. Carrie Baines, afternoon. Where can I get 
this game? Well, you can uh, um, email Groovis Games. Uh, this comes part of a bigger game, which is Dungeon Crusade. But these are just the gambling games in it. And what we're doing is we're telling a little story along our way. So bear with me. So now, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to roll. All right? Now, every time we take a hit, that's going to be a problem. All right. Here we go. Come on. We've got to beat this guy. We've got to beat him pretty quickly. It's best eye. Red for the uh, the wraith. And the blue for our hero, Bravely the Knight. Uh, he wins there. Okay, so we're going to put one damage onto our enemy there. All right, here we go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Got to hit him two more times. And, uh, oh, we, we won that one too. The dice are with us. We All we have to do is hit this guy one more time. One more time. That's all. Come on. Come on. You can do it. And... Oh, we... No, no. Oh, no. We are going to take a damage. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. All right. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. Uh, we're going to take another damage. This was up for eight. We're down to eight health. Eight health. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, bro. Come on. Uh, no. We're locked in mortal combat. It's not going well for us. We started off so great. And everything went bad. Oh, no. Four health. Four health. We have six left. Bravely. Swing your axe. Oh, another loss. That's five. Uh-oh. Things aren't looking good. Oh, we fight finally. Woof. Woof. We've got we've got some damage done to us. We've got I'm gonna need more of those hit tokens. I'm gonna need more of those hit tokens. This is just ain't right. Wow. So now we're ha we lost half our health just starting out on this thing. And we haven't even gone anywhere. We haven't even made any money. I mean, come on now. It's got to get better. It's got to get better. All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. They, they actually have different health tokens. I'm just using these. All right. I'm going to move up over there. Okay. All right. All right. Come on, Bravely. You can do this. we got to get to one of those healing potions or something. Come on, buddy. Come on, pal. Two. One, two. Oh. Now it's whatever I go back. Oh, boy. This isn't as easy. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. Into a battle. But we did win $100, by the way, for killing that that creature. Yeah, whoopee. Oh, no. It's not $100 from there. It's $100 from here. Oops. Okay, there we go. We fixed it. We fixed it. Oh, my God, my God, my God. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. Um, we got five health left. Oh, wait, wrong. Remember the red for Bravely. The blue for our hero. Uh, no, okay, that's one. That's one for him. All right, nice. All right, come on. You can do this. Come on. Come on, we need the money. Uh, three, we won. That's an instant win. We're going to take that. We're going to take 100 bucks. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And we're going to cash in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for another 500. So far, so good for our girl here. She's going to go back with some money, possibly. Remember, these games get tougher. These games get tougher. All right, here we go. Uh Mr. E. Connolly, Scott Alden, how are you? Bill Holmes says mini games are only included in the Master of the Realm edition. Uh, we're going to have an announcement too about this game. Uh, I think you guys are going to be happy uh, with what we have, but I'm, I'm saving that. I'm waiting for the go ahead. All right, so that's dead. We're still at five health. 
All right, we, something's got to go right for us here. Something. Come on, come on. And oh, that's a two. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fight this wraith again. You notice that didn't go very well. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That wasn't good. That wasn't good. Let's get that out of here. Come on. Uh, five five. That's a push. All right. Here we go. Here we go. And uh, three three. That's a push. Oh come on. We need to hit this guy three times. He's already hit us once. Four four. Oh man. Four. Eight. The hard way. Five. That's gonna be a hit. All right. We got we we hit the wraith once. Come on. We gotta get. Come on. Uh, we are almost dead. Three, six, seven. We only have three health left. We only have three health left. Oh, 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 oh. Can we roll that? Even though I won that. And, okay. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. And, oh no, oh no, come on, Knightley, bravely in the night, come on, come on, buddy, oh no, one health left, one health left, this can't happen to him, he's such a nice guy, oh, barely one, barely one, but we do get a hundred bucks, all right, okay, all right. All right, things are not looking good. He needs to get by by some of these these areas here. I don't see him doing that. Here we go. Two. One, two. Go back. I cannot get by that. Go back. How many spaces? One. Not bad. 700 gold. We'll take that. We'll take that. All right. Okay. Now we need to get a good roll. We need like a four. Come on. Three. One, two. Oh, no. We're locked in battle with a spider. Oh, no. All right. We've got one health. He's got three. Come on, Knightley. You can do this. Come strong, big fella. Oh, he's got one. He's got one. Oh, can he come back? Can he come back and do this? Can he do this? Come on, big fella. Uh, oh, he won twice. He only needs one more. He can get out of this. He can get out of this. Come on, big fella. Uh, he did it. He did it. And he got 100 gold out of that. Nice. Whew. All right. He presses on. Come on, big fella. Whoa, 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 whoa. Womp, womp, womp. One. All right, he's going to get 500 gold for that. That's all right. We'll take that. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. One. He's going to get the magic sword. That's a plus one to every roll going forward. So he has the plus. He has the magical sword. All right. How are we going to denote that he has the magical sword? Well, I'll tell you how we're going to denote that he has the magical sword. Well, we're going to just put her there. <laughs> That'll remind us. Oh, come on. Move one. Get the healing potion. Get the healing potion. One. Yes. We're going to be able to heal three. Oh, we're not done yet. We're not done yet, folks. Come on. Big roll. Big roll. Come on, baby. What do you say? Daddy needs a new boo. Oh, three. One, two. And what happens here? Hold on. Roll 1d6. One to three, fall, and take two damage. Okay, so we actually go here, but we have to go through this trap first. Oh, boy. Roll a d6. All right, let's see what happens. And two. We fall. We take two damage. All right, we're healed up. Two, four, six, eight. We have two health left. Two health against this battle of this creature with four. Uh-oh. He's got four health. All right, we got to beat him. We got to beat him. 
We gotta beat him. We almost got all the money too. Come on. Come on, we're doing all right here. Let's do this. And uh, all right, we win that one. We won that one. Just gotta win three more times. Three more times. Come on, three more times. And tie, tie, tie. I was a little nerve. I was a little nerved about that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Three. Oh. We're down to one health. We're down to one health. Oh no. Come on. Oh. All right. All right. That's two. We still have a chance here. We still have a chance. And that's three. Could be a comeback. I've been here for years. Here we go. Come on. Yes. Yes. Got him. Die. 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 All right. All right. So we survived that battle. We have one hit point left. Come on. Come on. Need at least a three. Oh, no. We get a two. Which means we're going to be taking on this snake. Oh, by the way, we get a hundred bucks from that. Uh, so I'm going to cash in. One, two, three, four, five, five, five hundred bucks. All right. And we're going to take a thousand. So there's only a thousand bucks left there. We've almost cleaned out everything there. All right. So let's see if we can do this. And we got to see if there's a penalty if we don't make it to the beginning there. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add the plus one. Oh, no, no. The plus one comes here. So, plus one. I forgot to add the plus one in the, in, when we got the sword. Oh, for crying out loud. I wonder if we would have won anything. No, I think we got beat pretty handily. But we get plus one here. Five plus one. That's fine. One, bad, one death to the snake. All right, come on. Come on, we can get out of this. Uh, plus one, that's two. We killed the snake, we get a hundred bucks. That's how we do it. That's how we do things around here. All right. Uh, four. One, two, three. We made it out. We made it out. We're only leaving a few hundred bucks in there. We made it. We did it. Nice job. All right. Now she's going to take all her money. This money goes back to the bank. And let's count up what we got here. This has been a very successful night so far. But uh, not so fast, folks. Things are about to get real here. Knightley made it with just one health. I mean, that's how you do things. That's how you do things at Rob's Tabletop World. That's how you do it at Rob's Tabletop World. Neat little game. You could use the spinner. I just use a D4. All right, let's cash some of this money. So we got a thousand there. I'm going to cash 500 in there. I'm going to take another thousand. So that's two thousand. Or oh, three thousand. All right, she's doing pretty good. She's going to go back. I think she'll go. Or if she makes too much money, she might leave. I mean, it's something to think about. Something to think about in the big scheme of things. All right. Now this game is just very, very simple. Uh, this one we're not going to do. Uh, it's a little more intensive, but we're not going. This would be uh, game three. We're going to skip. We're going to skip over this. This is hero versus mo monsters, and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be defending the chapel of life, uh, life, light. Once they get there, well, guess what? It's not going to be good. Uh, there's a challenge deck, a play deck. Um, there's a little bit more to it. This is just one game that that we're going to skip over. So now. What we're going to play, though, I'm going to move this over here because we don't need this anymore, is we're going to play some Skulljack. So I made some changes to this, okay? And you can do it my way, or you can do it the way Roger wanted to do it, okay? Now, the bank starts with 2,000 gold, which is the maximum that you can, well, they start with that, okay? We're trying to get their 2,000 gold. Okay, all this is blackjack. Same rules. We have to bet two hundred bucks. You can't split cards, okay, or anything like that. But we're going to be playing blackjack. I changed a few things though. Okay, so it's blackjack. So I would place my bet, 
we would deal the cards, mine face up, then one face up, and one face down. Okay? My idea, and I actually r ran this by, by our good friend um, Roger. I said, Roger, how about we do this? Okay? These are those are just just regular uh, bronze bronze type of cards okay with uh, bronze loop and this is gold loop okay so here's what happens okay if i can win 5 5 count okay 5 games in a row i'll get a gold loop Okay, plus my 200 bucks. Good luck trying to win five, five hands. Okay, if I get 21, I get a bronze loop. So I'm going to be able to bring some equipment back to my party. Here's the catch. Here's the little catch. It's a pressure luck thing. Okay, because if you get a bunch of loot, okay, as well as making some money, and at any time he gets 21 and you're still playing, number one, first of all, if he gets 21, he wins automatically. But you lose all the, the loot cards that you get. You keep the money, but you lose your loot cards. And there could be some really great things. It's how far do you want to press your luck? Okay. Do you want to try to bring back a whole bunch of loot? Yeah. Now, this isn't in the, the, the manual at all. It's just straight up 21. But I decided to mess around with this and change it a little bit to make it a little bit higher odds. For, you know, let's, let's press our luck. Let's, let's be dangerous. And here she is. There she is. She's like, yeah, let's go for this. Okay, so if any time I get 21, I'm going to be able to get some loot on top of the cash that I'm going to make. All right, on top of the cash I'm going to make. All right, we are playing straight up, straight up, hardcore blackjack. But a little extra going on. So now I've, I've just made this a little more dangerous, a little more dangerous. Remember, I can lose all my money here because everything's up. Is she, has she sobered up enough? I don't know. I'm going to put her money here so you guys can see. We got a couple thousand dollars. We got about four, forty-four hundred dollars $4,400. All right. But we're eyeing, I'll be honest with you, we're eyeing that two grand there and some of that loot. Can we beat Skull Jack? I don't know. I don't know. Can we get lucky enough to survive this? I don't know. All right. I would have liked to put people's lives on, on the line. But that's not me. It's getting a little crazy. All right, here we go. One card face down. A seven. Okay. An eight. Ooh, a 10. This could be interesting right off the bat. Okay. So let's move this here. So we're playing a little 21. We're not going to look at this card until we, we freeze here. So I'm at a 10. Obviously, I'm going to hit here, right? Okay. 18. 18. Push, nobody wins. Hmm. Do we do the uh, do we do the uh, the Austin Powers thing? I like to play dangerously. Hit me, sir. You have twenty. Hit me. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna stay right there. We're not that stupid. All right. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Let me move that. Boom. Oh, nineteen. 19. Oh, Nelly. That's, we're, we're already losing money. How could this be? All right. Okay. Didn't go our way that time. Didn't go our way. All right. Let's do it again. 
Mm, queen. A three. And a pair of queens. Now you can't split the cards here. Can't split the cards here. So I'm going to well, I gotta put my two hundred bucks there. Skulljack's going, dude, where's your money? So I'm gonna freeze at twenty. All right. Um let's see, on a win. Okay, uh dealer hits on sixteen. Uh okay. Holds on 17 plus. Okay, so seven. Seven. Let's hope it, there's a 10 here. No. That's 11. Uh oh. Uh oh. Doesn't look good for our hero. That's an 11. That's a 13. 13. Uh, he has to hit 13 and 9. Well, if you ask me, I think our good friend busted there, which means we're going to win that $200 back. All right. So we're going to put that back in our pile here. And we're going to put one token to designate that we won one game in a row so far. All right. After three hands, I'm going to shuffle the cards because either that or we'll be able to count the cards that are in the deck. Personally, I think it's four, four, four rounds. Four rounds, we reshuffle. All right, so we've got one win. Mr. Skulljack, one for you. A nine for me. A nine for Skulljack. Oh, 19. 19. Uh, let me see. I, you know, I think I'm good there. I think I'm good there. Mm-hmm. I think I'm good here. I think I'm good here. Yeah, I'm going to hold. And, all right, 14. That means he's got to take it. 14. That's 16. He still hits on that. 16. Oh, he went. He busted. That's two in a row. Maybe we could get. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Maybe we can get that stuff we need. One more hand. One more hand, then we'll shuffle the cards. One more hand. All right, here we go. Skulljack. He's getting ticked off. He's saying, no, dude, no. Oh, wait a minute. I got I to gotta take 200 bucks from you. I'm trying to bust you. I'm trying to bust you up. I could, I could bust you up all night, son. All right, two. Oh, that's not a good card to start off with. Okay, here we go. And, uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh. Hmm. Jeez, he's got a 10 there. Do I pray that he doesn't have something and that he's going to he's going to wail something out? I think I got a hit here. Oh. An ace. That's 13. I'm uh, 13. Uh, I'm going to hit again. 13? 19. Oh, that's gutsy. 19. I got to freeze here. I got to freeze here. Hopefully he doesn't have a 10. Oh, he's at 16. He's got to take the hit. Uh, no, bust. Bust. That's three in a row. Oh, we need two more to get a golden loot. And we take two more $100 for him. And Skulljack's ticked. He, Skulljack feels a tap on his shoulder as another dealer's coming in. Uh, the casino is obviously rigged here. Meanwhile, our rogue is just like, yeah, this is this is how this is how we do it. This is how we do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go for it here. Let's go for it. All right. This weird adventure where. The rogue sneaks off with all the money. I think if she has more than $5,000, she leaves the group. You could do that, too. Or maybe she has a sense of royalty. I think we're going to roll a D. We're going to roll a D6 on a 1 to 3. If she has over 5000 at the end of this, she leaves. 
on a one to three. On a four, five, or six, she goes back to the party and says, guys, you got to trust me. I know what I'm doing. All right. All right, here we go. Well, we got three in a row here. We haven't gotten 21. Nobody's gotten 21. Yeah, it, it's two card 21. I mean, it's got to be natural 21. Not, oh, we, we added 17 cards and got 21. Mr. Skulljack, here we go. There's a card for you, my friend. And, nope. And, oh, that could be 19 right there. What do we have? Oh, we have 17. Oh, boy. What do you do, folks? What do you do, folks? I don't know. I think I'm going to stay. I, I froze. Oh, no, that's hit. You got to go. For the camera. Okay, here we go. Uh, if this is 10 under here, we lost our three-game streak. No, it's even worse. A 20. Man, well, there goes that, and then there goes our 200 bucks. Sheesh. Sheesh, Louise. Okay. Hand two. There we go. Mr. Skulljack. And us. Okay, we got to. Hey, hey, you guys. Okay, all right. See, the rogue trying to be sneaky there. Rogue trying to be sneaky there. Flip up. Oh, that's a four. Best they can have is 15. That's all right. Oh, king. That's a dangerous card right there. Because if there's a face card under there, that's a 12, and that's bad. Uh, that's a 22. That's not going to help us. Any. All right, here we go. Uh, we got a hit. Oh, we busted. That's two losses in a row. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Rogue starting to, starting to sober up and realizing that the money is drifting away here. Okay, here we go. We're going to put up another 200. Uh, we're not going to look at that because we're not going to give ourselves any kind of hint of what cards are still out there for you card counters out there. All right, here we go. Skulljack. Skulljack in session, baby. All right, there's one. And, oh, king for me. King for me. And, oh, oh. This could be bad. I needed that ace. No, I got a 14. Uh, honestly, I'm going to have to hit. And uh, that's a 20. A natural 20. Hmm. Good for us. But if this is 21. Oh, and it is. And it is. Oh, if we had any loot, we would have lost it. But thank God we didn't. Oh, that was heartbreaking. She, we're on a losing streak here. Hand number. And slowly, we're dwindling our, our cash here. We're dwindling our cash. Here we go. One for her. One for us. One, a 13, possibly. 16. Cannot split the cards. 16. Uh, I'm going to hold there. I'm going to hold there at 16. We're going to take a chance. We're going to take a chance. Uh, 13. Come on. 10. 16. Still got a hit. Oh, 20. Oh, we are getting wrecked now. Oh, we are getting wrecked now. That was, that was not a good round. We are getting wrecked. She's going to have to cash in one of those fives. She's like, here you go, here you go, here you go, Skulljack. Skulljack's laughing. That, you know you know how skeletons laugh. <laughs> I don't know why they laugh like that, but they do. It's a little disturbing if you ask me. It really is. It really is. All right. Well, we're, we're whittling down some money here. Uh, Come on, place the bet. Okay, all right, okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Skulljack. An eight for us. Uh, a ten. A uh, queen. And uh, we're sitting at eighteen. I think we. 
all right, I'm going to wave here. I'm going to say, listen, we're, we're going to have to freeze right there. We're going to have to freeze right there, even though they could possibly have a 20. Um, Uh-oh. What's going to happen? Oh, it's a tie. It's a tie. If a tie, bets are returned to the hero, except if the dealer hits 21, the house wins. Okay, nope. Yep. Automatic 21, no matter what, the house wins. All right, so our bet stays there. But that means that we shuffle the cards. If we can just get on a little bit of a roll here. All right. All right, now we're down some cash. This, this isn't the this isn't the way we anticipated. This isn't the way we anticipated, not at all. And will the rogue stay? Will she bring the money back? Or is she gonna keep gambling and maybe lose it all? Well, we're gonna put a little time limit on this because you know we don't want this to be a five hour stream for three three house of chance games from Dungeon Crusade, but I'm telling you right now, it's a very interesting game. You make your own story, folks. You make your own story. All right? It's how you use things. If you have an imagination, hey, guess what? You, you just might have nothing. I'm going to come up for just for a second. Nothing in this box, nothing in that box, Dungeon Universe Alice, says you have to follow the rules. Okay? They give you a basis. How do you want to tweak it? What do you want to do with it? You've got some really beautiful art, some beautiful tiles, some beautiful things. Tell your own story. That's what I think is unique, is telling your own story. And that is what I feel the future of a lot of designers are going to be, is telling their own story, going out and telling these beautiful tales. We shall see. We shall see. I could be wrong. And a lot of people can disagree with me. And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But don't get keyboard tough with me. Mm -mm. He ain't going to win that one. Because I'm just naturally tough. And I always pay my receipts. All right. One more. Uh, I'm going to let Skulljack uh, cut the cards here. All right, Skull. You want to cut? Okay. He's going to come here. He's going to come up here like that. Okay, there we go. All right. I feel pretty good about that. Okay, here we go. All right, we're on a losing streak, and we, you know, we barely tied last time. Let's uh, see what happens. Oh, nine, that could be very helpful to us. A six, they're gonna have to hit no matter what. Oh, an eleven, this could be a twenty-one. This could be a twenty-one. If we get a twenty-one, we get one of the, the, um, bronze loot cards. Oh boy. I got a hit no matter what. Oh, well, that ruined that. That ruined that. So now we're sitting at a 13. We're going to hit again. 13. Oh, 13. I went over. I went over. We're not even going to look at that card. We're not even going to look at the card. I thought oh, I could have put the pressure on him and everything. I didn't. It's going to be 200 bucks more. All right. Skulljack looks at us. You know, we're kind of sitting around. Uh, she's kind of, I mean, she's taking a real beat in here. I don't know what she wants to do. You know, she's going to keep going. Boy, she likes playing with other people's money. All right, who doesn't? Here we go. Oh, Jack. Jack. And, oh, no, it's 13. All right, here we go. Oh, that should have been their card. Whoops. Whoops. Let's make it easier for them. And a 16 for us, which makes it harder for us. <sighs> I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. i got to try my luck here. Hopefully she's got a 10. No, that's a 10. Plus 2 is 12. 12 plus 13. Plus. Oh, we finally get one. We finally get one back. All right. And a win. And a win. All right. Here we go. Here we go. That was 22. Nine. All right, Rick. Hold on. No. 
nine nine eight. Hold on. It's gonna make me look. No. All right. Whatever. Well, if I messed up, I messed up. What can I tell you? All right. So let's see here. Um. Here we go. One. And then one. We've got a win already. Uh, oh, if we got that, no. We need an ace. No, 20. We're going to stay. We're going to stay with 20. Oh, boy. Can we can we keep the streak going? Okay, that's 12. 22. We busted him. 22. That's a bust. That's one for us. That's one for us. All right. All right, so we're going to take two more there. We're on a roll now. We're on a roll now. Come on. Uh, do we want to let it roll? Of course we want to let it roll. All right, one for you. One for me. Oh, that could be 17, folks. And Oh, that's a dangerous card right there. But I'm going to take the hit. I'm going to take the hit here. Oh, 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 13, that was, no, oh, we lost, we were on a streak too, we were on a streak too, jeez, we can't get ahead here, we can't get ahead in this, all right, we're going to shuffle up these cards again, I think, I think you should be able to get an extra, an extra pair of Skulljack cards, because these cards are going to take a beat from all the shuffling. All right. Skulljack says, hey, guys, I think you, I think you should, uh, get the card. Okay. Now, we got to decide when we're going to, we're going to stop here. I said, we're, gonna, we're not going to go far. We're not going to go long. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I can cut the cards? Oh, thanks. Thanks, Skulljack. All right, here we go. Here we go. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, I probably messed it up. It's tough when you when you stream and you're live. You, you, you know, you're trying to think about 17 different things at once. Never easy. All right, here we go. Nine. And nine. That's interesting. Nineteen. I gotta stay. I gotta stay. 19. We both push. That's a push. All right. That's not bad. That's not bad. At least we're on our way. We're on our way. Here we go. One for Skull. One for me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I feel confident enough? Do I feel confident enough that there's 20 under there? I'm going to stay. I'm going to stay. All right. Oh, double queen. We got beat. Oh, look at the bank. The bank is just rolling with our money. With our money. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Right, and okay, that that can help us. That's a oh, we can get 21 here. We can get 21 here. We got an 11. I'm gonna hit yes, 21. But if they get 21, they win. But we do get a loot card. All right, now we got to find out if we want to risk that loot card. All right, well, let's let's see how it all turns out. Eight. 13. Uh -oh. 13. Oh, they went over. 13 and 9. That's, that's 23. Sorry, my friend. Well, I mean, that's 22. Excuse me. All right, so we get a loot card. And we can't look at it. We can't look at it. So now we have a loot card and all this cash. And we get 200 bucks for that, too. Do you want to stay? Do you want to stay? Or do you want to go? No double down. 
Nope. No double down option. It's just straight up. All right. All right, Skulljack. Now, if he gets a 21, we lose our, our loop. I hope that doesn't happen. I'm taking a risk here. Oh, no. And no split in the cards. I got an 8. I'm going to hit. 16. I'm going to stay at 16. Come on. Low. 15. He's got to take a hit. 17. He wins. All he's got to do is be 17. Jeez. All right, that's all right. We still have our loot card. Things are okay. We're still in business here. We're still in business here. There. All right, queen. And 13. Come on. Come on, blackjack. 18. We're going we're gonna to stay. Hey, Skulljack says, where's your money? All right, bro. All right, bro. All right. We're going to stay at 18. And flip over. Ooh, that's six. Eight. Eight. And 11. That's going to beat us. That's 19. Oh. Jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, let's let's shuffle these cards up. Things aren't looking good for us. We do have a loot card, though. We do have a loot card. That's right, Dragon Shadow. That's the way we do things around here. You forget to lay up the money. Skulljack has a couple of boys, and they're both ogres. Okay? They're both ogres. She's, she's, she's feeling her luck has to turn around. I don't see it. I mean, you lost a ton of money already. But you did get a loot card. You could probably buy your way back uh, into the thing. Uh, Skulljack's going to cut. He always says, I cut deep. Because I want to see you weep. All right. Okay, brother. All right, bro. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's one there. And six. Uh, uh oh. That could be trouble. An 11. We're going to hit. We're definitely hitting there. Come on. 10. Oh, 17. 17. I think we got to stay. I think we got to stay at 17. Oh, at 12. This could be bad for 12, 13. Bust. Nice. Now we're going to get 200 bucks back. Nice. That's going to go over here. And we mark for one win. Remember, five in a row gets us one of these gold cards. And I'll tell you right now, we get one of those gold cards, we're out of here. We're out of here. But is she out of here? Does she go back to the group? Or does she take the loot and the money and take off and spend it? There's only one way to find out. We're going to roll. All right, here we go. One for Skulljack. A three for us. A 10. A jack. Basically. And a 9. That puts us at 12. This is a tough card. You're at 12. I think we got a hit. Oh, we busted! Our streak's over. If there's a 21 under here, we're going to lose our loot card. No. We busted. It doesn't matter. For that, you have to check. For that, you have to check because we would lose our loot card on the 21. All right, here we go. Come on. Six. 
nine, nine. That's a fifteen. Could be a nineteen under there. I think. I think I got to take a chance. Oh wait! Whoa! 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 Two ogres come over and say, "Hey, buddy." Oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Listen, bro. It's all good. We got this. All right. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen. I think I'm gonna stay. Fifteen and that's a 16 they have to hit they have to hit on a 16 that I didn't make the wrong 17 oh and they hold and they win it's 200 more I'm gonna ask for some change here wow they are just whittling us down just whittling us down and she doesn't care it's not my money she said <laughs> playing with the house's money but the house is getting their money back how much money did we lose at Skulljack? Quite a bit here, folks. Quite a bit. All right, we're going to flip over here. Oh, oh, that could do it. Yes. Oh, and 20. Freeze. Hey, hey. Put the money. Sorry, sorry, bro. Sorry. Is this a 21? Is this a 21? Oh, no. It's a push. It's a push. All right. Okay. A lot of face cards there, folks. One there. Oh, king. Three. Is it an ace? No, 20. Another 20. We're going to stay. Oh, and uh, no, we didn't win that. That was a push. Wow, that's tough money. I'm running. That's seven. Oh, no. 11. 21. We lose our loot card. And our money. Oh no. The rogue in desperation just realizes that that's it. So now, to continue on our little story here, we've got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. She's got 1,300 bucks. The party started with 1,500. She can go back and be held. In high regard, but does she? Or does she take the money and leave the group and say, hey, this was a good adventure. Those guys can find another rogue. I'm going to take this money and I'm going to go on the run. So what's going to happen? The rogue is going to take this money and she's going to make a decision. On a one to three, she's going to take the money and run. On a four to six, she goes back to the party and say, guys, I want to apologize. How much they started with two grand? Okay, hold on. Started with two grand. They took how much of our money? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve hundred bucks we lost. And a loot card. What was that loot card? Let's find out if it was something good. Oh, it was an amethyst ring worth money. Oh, that would have helped the, the group. But no. Not this day. Rogues always sneak out the back. She's going to decide. Do I take the money and run? Or do I go back to my party and say, Hey guys, you know something? I took a shot. With something. It's going to come down to this. I took a shot. I decided to go with this. I hope you'll forgive me. I really do. I hope you'll forgive me. On one, two, or three, she's, I'm out of here with all this money. And out of five... The better part of Valor, she goes, you know something? We can make, we can get some good equipment and we could probably make twice this money. And I think I'm going to stick around. I'm going to go back to the group. And, and our rogue takes her money and goes back to the group after a successful night of drinking, carousing, and gambling. What an evening. And what a story. And it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Taking some of these games, making your own story, doing your own thing, beefing things up a little bit so you can go and buy equipment and stuff like that as you get ready to face these things. But there's going to always going to be risks. Okay, you can lose some of these games. And some of these games can be tough. Okay, and unforgiving. 
Um, some, some of the stuff I would tweak a little bit and make it a little harder because I like that push your luck feel to it. All or nothing. I like the all or nothing feel. Hmm. She may go back. Yeah, she may go back and say, hey, listen. We made about a couple hundred bucks, but you know something? They'll figure it out. Take the money and run. That's that's what you would think. But no, the better part of Valor, she thinks that she can make more money going out on adventures with these guys. And she's going to take a risk. She's young. She hasn't learned over, over time and experience. That's the way it goes, isn't it? So there you have it. Those are three of the four games. We're going to show off the fourth game. And then um, coming up, I don't know if it's going to be this weekend or at some point next week, uh, we are going to be playing Dungeon Crusade. Um, but we've got, we got some other exciting things coming up the rest of this week. Uh, Thursday, we're going to be doing something a lot of fun that, that I think you're really going to enjoy. And I hope you'll join us. Um, right, Gab? Oh, that's Bella and Gabby. we got both of them here. Come on. Come here. Hello. Hi. You guys... No, we didn't win much. I'm sorry. So there's no extra bones. Sorry. Well, you're leaving? And you're leaving too? Okay, I can see this. I can see this. That's what happens when you don't win a lot of money. What can I tell you? Listen, this is a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you get are starting to get the flavor of the game. We started with the Avalon board game, okay? And how you start to learn what's going on and all the different things in Avalon that you're going to discover during the quest. Then we took and we made our own story with the uh, House of Chance games, which uh, took up about an hour and a half. Okay, so so far we've played three and a half hours of the game and we haven't even played the game. What does that tell you? There's a lot here. There's a lot to unpack and there's a lot of thing, uh, things to do. Uh, who makes Dungeon Crusade? It is Groovis, Groovis, Groovis Games Unlimited. Roger Deary. Um, you can email him and let him know that you are interested in uh, um in a dungeon crusade or you can wait for me to announce something which i should be able to announce in the next day or two so uh there you go glad you finally had the game rob well yeah it's here and we're enjoying it and i'm having a lot of fun it's what you get out of it folks that's the way it is for me okay you sit there and complain like a lot of people have been there and you know certain people certain individuals and i'll be honest with you you know this one individual complains about a lot of things. And, it, and he's got himself in hot water now. Because now nobody wants to do business with you. You know, you could have been something. Uh, thank you for the stream. Guess I go back to work. Well, Dragon, Dragon Shadow, I hope you join us again. I appreciate it. You can always uh, subscribe. Make sure you smash that like button. Okay, it always helps. I, I really appreciate it. And that's all we need. We don't do a patron or anything like that. We just come here and have fun, and that's all we try to do. So, I want to thank all of you for showing up. I hope you all had a wonderful time. And until next time, it's your old pal Rob saying, Be good to people, okay? Because it does come back on you. It's bad karma to just be so rude. If you're kind to one another, you'd be surprised how good things can be, okay? Stand your ground also. Don't don't take don't let people push you around, okay? With their words, with their actions, with a lot of things. Be brave. Face 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 it. It's better to face it because you sleep a lot better at night. I know I do. And I don't take anything. Okay? And a little criticism never hurts anybody. Okay? So if somebody doesn't agree with you, that's okay. As long as they do it nicely and kindly. Okay, if we just use a little bit more kindness, you'd be surprised what a good place and what a good world we would have. Social media was supposed to bring us all together. Instead, it's kind of destroying us. So let's 
use this one little channel, this little little video channel in the world, in the, the, the world of thousands and thousands of channels, and make it a safe haven for everyone, for everyone, of all walks of life. If we could start here, who knows where we can go. And as I always say, to the world you may be one person, but to one person you may be the world. And for that, I can tell you, you are my world. And I want to thank you so much for watching our little adventure here. And I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, Joel Palrong. We'll see you soon.